Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Resident, Resident Evil Revelations. Revelations. Yeah. I always fuck up the intro. I keep forgetting he can do that. But anyway, so um, we are going to go ahead and start this next episode. It's going to be part one. I'm going to divide these uh, episodes in half and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just load it up right now and continue where we left off. I believe they have recaps, so I won't talk during that. Previously, on Resident Evil Revelations. We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. The signal was lost over the ocean. Queen Zenobia. Right here on this ship. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. I think it's a gun. <laughs> this is not good. Where are you, Chris? Chris! What is this? Oh, great. Shit! It's a trap! It's time you learned the truth. It's you aren't Honk. Knock off version of Honk here. Anyway, that was <laughs> that's what happened in the last episode. So this is episode two. Double mystery. So let's go ahead and load this up right now. Um, it's been a while since I played this because legit, this is what Texas has looked like <laughs> the past like week, and it still does actually. It's just so cold, and I lost power, and I was gonna record, and the power went out, and I'm just like, all right, well, fuck it, we'll just, we'll just wait and see, you know. Slow down, Chris. We'll just wait until everything just like settles down. So, but I'm okay so. though. Thank God I'm not hiking Source up here. Source the camp is on the far side of this peak. Maybe it's the weather, but I still can't make contact with HQ. Who'd have thought we'd be stuck out here for so long? It literally feels like I've been. <laughs> it's like legit, with like Texas weather and like uh, the plane. like Monday night. My God! Oh. It crashed. There shouldn't be. A ship <laughs> it in crashed. That and then she just the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. She just like Come on. calmly says the next sentence. All right, let's go check out this uh, this crash site. Jesus, no one could have lived through that. <laughs> Investigate the site. Let me know if you find anything. Can't get ammo. Probably gonna use that. See so if I can scan anything. Huh? Can I scan you? No. Doubt I can find anything. Anything? What was that? <laughs> I just heard something like turbine still spinning. And all right, I'm handing the new prototype. There will be a prototype induced in this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution. Okay. When handling this special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. In the event of the emergency, follow the contingency guidelines and the hazards and emergency manuals. Once the prototype's abilities have been activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedative must be administered every hour during transport. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. If the control is no longer viable, please contact XQ on the dedicated line. Okay, so I'm assuming something just like went out of control and just caused this plane to crash or something. So that's always good news, right? Whoa. Might be. Veltro will use the thing. Okay. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for Belcoin and Mock Airport. If that's where they are, I this my mine knife should take us there. Um, part 2. Okay, okay. So, that's really weird. I'm so used to other Resident Evil games that, like, it's something, it's used at, like, R1, and this game, it just pulls out Jessica, the little scanner. I need a hand. <laughs> Jessica, I need a hand! <laughs> Sheva, hurry! 
Oh, now you're waiting on me. <laughs> That's the one thing I miss about Resident Evil 5, is just the, uh, the co-op. You know, whether you're playing online or offline by yourself, it was just, you know, something that I miss. I may have to go back and play it, because it's cold. really fun. I probably won't record it, but... thermal underwear. Worn your thermal underwear, really. What was that? Oh, doggos! I think they're infected. Be careful, Jessica. Oh. Probably use, shouldn't use my shotgun on these, because. Are you transporting these things? Looks that way, doesn't it? Then Veltro is back from the dead. Yeah. And we have to stop them before anyone gets yeah, hurt. Yeah, let's see. All right, so this like reminds me of the Resident Evil Five caves. Like when you had to carry the oh, hello pupper, how are you? Just how uh, they shoot you. But that one's big. That one's like bigger than the other one. So I'm assuming I need to either use the shotgun on that dude. Let's go ahead and just get back. Get out of here. All right. So the Resident Evil Five or Resident Evil Nine. The knives, when you use knives against enemies, apparently it's like the most powerful thing there is. I remember in my Resident Evil 4 playthrough, I legit, I think I defeated a Krauser with like, like I shot him, I didn't use him with a knife only, I don't think, I, I think I shot him a couple of times. But I do know that if you um, swing the knife at him, he does, you know, die faster, so I'm only assuming the knife is really powerful. Probably should be careful with the shotgun ammo, but... Oh, doggos. Hello. How are you? Oh gosh, this camera. Alright. Cool. Let's hop over here. There's... B.O.W. decoys. A grenade-type sub-weapon. Once it hits the ground, it lets out a unique sound that lures surrounding enemies and then explodes, taking out everything in the vicinity. Very effective if used correctly. So basically a pipe bomb. Is... <laughs> Basically a pipe bomb. Alright. Oh, my dumbass probably won't even use it. Oh god, there's a lot of puppers. Ow! Ow! So... How do I use this damn vehicle? Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Alright. Well... <laughs> get out of my way. Leave me alone. Uh. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so... Shoot the fucking dogs, lady. Help me. I'm trying to figure out how to pull out this decoy. Ow. Fucking die. Jesus. In every Resident Evil game, it's. Ow! It's always dogs. Go ahead and pop that. So. It's always fun. So I still don't know how to pull this decoy out. Is it left right now? It's not nothing on the D-pad. It's... I don't know. It says scanner. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm just gonna scan around and see if I can see anything. But Oh, look. Item. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this herb. Handgun ammo. Really cool. I can't pick any more up. I just one bullet, but whatever, it's fine. Let's go ahead and reload the shotgun. I reload funny when I'm walking. Let's scan and see if I can see anything. Target not found. Oh, it must be on the other side. But I think this is like one of the few games where you can reload and shoot. So. I want to know if I can see how to use this B.O.W. bomb to... Oh, that's not where I want it. Uh, controls? No, there's nothing here. Really helpful. Alright, anyway, whatever, I'll just... I'll figure it out as I go. I'll probably blow myself up in the process, but so, whatever. Jill, was it? Was what? Stay focused. She yeah, stay focused. Could be in, right? like... Jealous. My partner from before. What about it? I was, you know, just asking. Uh huh. Sure. Wait. Make. Oh, that's how you use it. It's R one. 
Can I pick it up? No. Oh, I can't tell if that damaged me or not, so I'm only assuming it didn't. Okay, I got full on that. So it's R. And so it's R1, which is really really weird. So R2 is knife, and the R1 is the bombs with the grenade. Oh, should have seen that coming. It's like shades of Resident Evil 5 all over again at the end. Great. Are you okay? It's just my leg. I can't move, I'm so I'm assuming this a is a spot where. Oh, yeah. Uh, I figured we have to shoot and protect, protect ourselves. Oh! Oh god. Please. Bad doggos. No, I'm not food. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, get him. Yeah, I can use these bombs. All right, I never thought about that. <laughs> there, there you go. Go over there. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and pop this. Um, any more of you fuckers around? I hear you. Me and my sweet ass is on the way. Well, can you and your sweet ass hurry up? And get down here. Oh god. And, no, go over there. Oh shit. Is that beside me? I can't tell if that hurt me or not. Ow. Oh god, I hope that don't kill me. Get away. That would suck if, like, it actually, like, blew myself up because it bounced off one of these stupid dogs. Get, go over there. I don't, I'm not fooling. Oh, I'm shooting at you. <laughs> Sorry. Get away. More? Hey. Okay. That's it. Can you stand? Thanks. I'll be okay. Sorry to bring this up again, but bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? There's no need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through action. Yeah, stop making things words. awkward. Stop, stop making things right. awkward. It's always about the job, isn't it? You know it. Is there anything over here? No. Uh, let me scan. No. Anything I'm missing? No. Alright, let's just go ahead and press forward. Right, she's obviously jealous, or she's just like making things awkward. So I don't like her. <sighs> yeah, hurry up, get over here and help me. Please. <laughs> I gotta get out of this cave before you give me these bedroom eyes. Look, is that the airstrip? That's their hideout. This is Forkball. Do you read? Chris here. I read you, sir. Are you all right? Where are you? The interference here killed our signals. We're at Valcoin and Mock Airport. Damn it. It's all a setup. What do you mean? I sent Jill and Parker to the Mediterranean on faulty intel, and now I've lost contact with them. I haven't heard from them since. How? Oh. What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. Possible. O'Brien, you're not gonna like this. We found the Veltro crest. Then stories of their resurrection are true. If that's the case, then. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker. It was all. Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. O'Brien, we'll go after Jill and Parker. I hope that's not a problem. Not at all. Make your way to the Mediterranean and we'll keep you posted. Any idea what's going on? 
We'll sort it out later. We have to move. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so that is all the time that I have for this episode. Really interesting stuff, but thank you guys so much for coming out, and I will see you in the next episode. Actually, part two of the same episode, episode two. But thanks you guys for watching. Catch you later. <laughs>